Hey everyone, my name is Kumo and this is my reaction to the ninth episode of Death March Kara Hajimaru Isekai Kyoso Kyoku. So, in the last episode, Satu attempted to rescue Mia by doing some dungeon crawling, and he ran into a couple of dryads and did a bit of a mana transfer to them, that in a way that's very reminiscent of Fate, Khalid, Prisma, Ilia. And yeah, now he's got a lot of more fighting to do if he wants to rescue her, I would imagine, so. Let's get into it. Three, two, one, play. Evasion, probably one of the most useful skills out there. They actually are a little bit scary. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah, that's... And opening? Yeah, opening. <laughs> That's quite the uh, dungeon encounter there. It should be no problem for Satu, but... You should just call down a bunch of meteors and destroy everything. Maybe get a few extra levels. Probably not though, because he's so high level. Leveling up at that point must be a very slow process. You know, since Sato is kind of separated from his party, we don't really see much of them. Which is unfortunate. Hopefully he does rescue Mia and get back to them soon. I'm sure Tom and Pochi will be very happy when he finally gets home. Like, as soon as the doorbell rings, they just rush to the door. Possibly knock him over. And here we go. Man, did I see blood coming from their eyes? <laughs> I think I did. Jeez. <laughs> they, yeah, they have, they're out of their league. <laughs> ah, spatial movements. <laughs> I feel a little bit bad for them, actually. I don't know, it's a pretty common trope. Number one, level 15. Yeah, they're not even that strong. Unlimited arrow works. Really? Oh, <laughs> get better spear, man. Weapon destruction. Is that really a skill? <laughs> yeah, it's just not really much of a fighting condition. Just just give her a hug, that'll probably be all it takes to beat her. <laughs> wow. Now that would be a skill worth putting points in. Well, he kind of gave her a hug, I guess. Now, I've done beating up your minions. I want my little lolly princess elf back. Yeah. I totally know how to pronounce that sword's name. <laughs> wow. 
No life king. Brothers of the no game king. Yeah, we already knew he was reincarnated because of uh, something he said before. <laughs> wow. Of course. Yeah, this story. Oh, <laughs> jeez. A little bit savage. Wow. It's got dark quickly. <laughs> Yeah, God's blessing on this horrible world. Well, at least now we know all about his motivations and everything, so... Explains a lot. But what will Sato do? That's the question. And I guess that's her answer. Undead King Slayer, indeed. And even the ring. But he's all that to a vendor as soon as he gets tab back to town. Okay. <laughs> it's a little bit creepy, even the sounds are all like positional. Okay, but I'm taking my lolly first. Right, I have to give her a piggyback ride, she's unconscious. Unconch unconscious. Oh, well, there we go. Can you run? If not, I can carry you, it's no problem. I can even princess carry you if you want. Oh, we're going down that path, okay. I guess it would be best, it's a, it's a long way out. It's not like you can pull out your phone and activate the gate or anything. <laughs> but, uh... Is it? Like a back door? You're a programmer, you can do something. Uh, that's what he's concerned about. He does seem to quite like uh, one of them. <laughs> All of you, get on my back. I guess that works too. <laughs> yeah, number seven, I assume he's referring to. Oh no, the ceiling's coming down. <laughs> I should hope not.
<laughs> I guess if you uh, don't have time for the stairs, you do that. Oh, <laughs> jeez. That's so cool. <laughs> and who needs doors, either? Yeah, number seven. That unconscious girl's right where I left her. <laughs> Man, that is a long hair. Yeah, just give me your seed. Oh. Any seed, eh? Oh, a plant seed, okay. Oh. You, uh, you got a job to do. <laughs> yep, gotta give her that mana. So how many dryad kisses is that so far? <laughs> uh, talk about a win-win. Oh no, that's a problem. A tidal wave of salt. I guess he discovered the internet. I hope so. I don't want you to die. <laughs> That'd probably be a good idea. Oh no, the salt's coming. Of course, you get hit by too much salt, just delete your Twitter account, it'll be fine. <laughs> hey, I think we're gonna get some salt water. <laughs> of course, you can just run on water. Oh, jeez. Uh, he has been busy this episode. Master of Hellfire. That's one of the best titles he's gotten so far. Fireball attack. I, I mean, I guess it worked. Yep, he did survive. Wow. It just falls over. Meanwhile, the gang's kind of waiting. I think I see someone. That someone is your one and only master. Oh wow, Lisa was the first one to go over there. Because I was sure Tom and Pochi would be the first. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Wow, Arisa. Which Arisa definitely is. <laughs> Probably a good idea. No, I will never let her be a evil skeleton man. I can make no promises. Uh.
Yeah, the arc is over. Well, yeah. Oh, a kiss? I'm guessing a kiss, knowing this show. And yeah. Well, we don't actually get to see it. Friend of the Elves. Can I become a friend of the Elves? <laughs> yeah, so do you just get a bunch of new slaves? I killed him. Any other questions? Okay, so yeah, new slaves. I mean, you can never have enough, really. As long as they're all cute. <laughs> Already said. In other words, number seven. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's number seven. <laughs> wow. <laughs> there we go, we got a winner. Of course. Please do. Nana, no, no, of course. For number seven, not a... And Nana is a Japanese word for seven, if anyone's not aware of that. <laughs> uh. Ah, deception. Yeah, totally. Wow. Yeah, you very much did. Yeah, her... Uh, I totally remember her name. Zena. Yeah, okay. How many women are going to cry at me today? Yeah, being overwhelmed with desire for him is nothing new for her, though. The D? Or something else? Ooh, earrings. Oh yeah, I do vaguely remember that, yeah. In return, I shall give you my first time. Yep. Yeah, don't don't get ahead of yourself. <laughs> uh, some of them might actually be true. Oh, exposing her hand. Wow. <laughs> uh, I have missed those two. It's alright, I need a big place for all my slaves, so, no. Nah. I'll find one eventually. <laughs> of course they are. But he's got a pretty big party, he'll be fine. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, I don't think it's uh And their adventure continues. I always enjoy watching 3D animated horses and anime. That's a good thing because there's not a lot of room left on the cart. Well, that's nice of him. Uh, it kind of cut off before we got the most important word of that sentence. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh. I know, right? What more do you need in life? Like, nothing. He's been living the dream for a while now. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that's pretty much true. So, very knowledgeable slave there. <laughs> uh. Yeah, seriously though, life does not get much better than that. I guess that's why they call it wish fulfillment fantasies. And yep, now they're actually on the card going somewhere. The ED seems more fitting. Just love how close Tommy gets to the camera on that shot. Clearly a bit fourth wall leaning. So why doesn't their card have the cover on it in that shot? And the ED. I guess it's possible they lost it in their adventure. It'd just be bad if it rained. Or if a dragon attacked. Oh. Oh. But luckily they do have Mia back, so everything's great. There's the top, the cover on that shot. So that was the ninth episode of Death March. And Satu, he finished his mission. He beat up some of the, the dungeon's defenses. And managed to kill the master, the no-life king. Who apparently wanted to be killed because he's like... He had an immortal body and he wanted to be able to pass on, but was unable to, so he needed a hero like Satu to be able to do it. And Satu did it. Unfortunately, the self-destruct sequence of the dungeon was activated, so he kind of had to get out in a hurry. And luckily he was able to do that with everyone, including all the homunculi, even the unconscious number 7 that was way, way down uh, away from the others. And it was great. He even got to keep number 7 with his party, so... Yeah, pretty... pretty... Profitable dungeon, dungeon, dungeon adventuring uh, expedition, you would say. And yeah, he made it back. His party was more than happy to see him alive and well. They getting all, they were crying a lot, and you know, pretty good, pretty good stuff. I did like how the homunculi like did a rock paper scissors to decide who would actually get to stay with Satu. 
That was cool. And of course, number seven won. I, I knew she would. She was quite clearly being singled out amongst them, so that was, that was the obvious choice there. And got back to town. We, uh, Zena showed up. She also had to get her turn to cry. And had a little bit of a talk with Satu, saying that she'll eventually join the party as well. You know, one of these days. Now Satu and his party are on an actual journey to a new area. Which is the first time they've really done that, since they've pretty much been at the town for a while. Like, once in a while they get stuck in a dungeon or something, but they haven't really went to a new village or new town or new city or anything like that. Until now, so, yeah, it'll be cool to, to see that. Because they have a vehicle now, a cart, so they're able to actually do that. And the next episode probably will be entirely just traveling. Maybe the next two episodes, who knows, but I'm pretty sure next episode will be entirely traveling. And just like a road trip, pretty much. like Because I know at least one shot of the ED shows them like in a camping uh, type thing. So, you know, when with uh, when Mia's like playing an instrument or something. So I assume we'll get some of that in the next episode. Something similar to that. But Thank you for watching, and thank you Snoki, the Dragon of Oshu, as well as everyone else, for doing what you can to support the channel. It means a lot to me, and I hope we can continue to grow the channel together. If you want to do more to support the channel, then you can become a patron on my Patreon and get cool rewards like early access to certain videos. Have a good one.